banana bread. Our super simple and moist recipe. If you're new to our channel, this is... Hey, I woke it! And this is Sindel. And on this channel, we share some of our family vlogs, some of my mommy videos, and have product reviews. Ah! From time to time. So please consider subscribing and becoming part of our YouTube family. And if you want to know more about anything you see here on this channel, be sure and check the links in the description below this video or leave me a comment. I'd love to connect with you there. So Micah is off in California delivering a car and we have been working on packing our home as most of you may know and downsizing. And I wanted to do something a little bit different today and share with you my banana bread recipe. This is something that I've been wanting to share with you guys for a while, and I've been wanting to make this video for a while too. So I figured why not finally do it. Okay, and we're super excited about it. So Lucas is gonna help me tell you everything that you're gonna need in case you wanna make these too. One, two, three. So you're gonna need three bananas, and you're gonna need one and a half cups of... Water. You're gonna need one and a half cups of... Yep, sugar and one fourth teaspoon of baking soda. One pop. No, one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. One and a half teaspoon of powder. <laughs> and you're gonna need one egg <laughs> and a fourth cup of cooking oil. Yep, cooking oil. Now you're ready to cook! Yay! Ready, that? Ready, let's go! Ready! The bed and here. One mixer. This one. Yep. This type of mixer, if you have it, would be really helpful. My parents gave me this. It was their wedding gift. And it's going to be kind of sad to see it go. But back to this. A mixer like this is important too. And you're going to need one spatula. You're gonna need measuring spoons. Can you say measuring spoon? No. Dry measuring cups. If you're doing the muffin style, it works for this. If you wanna make it in the bread pan as well and you want butter to yeah. grease the edges on your pan. An extra bowl and a sifter to sift your flour. Extra. Yep. And can you say a liquid measuring cup? Excellent. Good job. Don't forget a cooling rack and some pot holders. So we're gonna get our wet ingredients in the mixing bowl and then in our extra bowl we're gonna put the dry ingredients. We are doing muffins so we don't need our bread pan. Can you count them? Five. One. Five. That's five. Oh, one more. Don't forget to preheat your oven to 350. All right, so I'm gonna put the bananas into the wet bowl for us. I have two frozen and one that's not. And it really does not matter. We like them a little bit brown, but there we go, in the bowl. Okay. Okay, we took this. Hold on. It's ready. Then you're gonna put the sugar in this one. Good job, Lucas. All the way in. And then I'm gonna crack our egg into the wet bowl. We'll get that going first. And then do you wanna pour the oil in, Lukey? Good job. Get going in the mixer here for us. Lukey's gonna get started on our dry ingredients. He's getting them all poured in there. Good job. Pour that one in there. Get it. Oh, good job. Oh no, me most there got go. it on my hand. Mix left. Perfect, just like that, you guys. Sweet, white, left. Yep. Once your wet ingredients are all mixed, you can add your dry ingredients in. Do you want to put it in there, buddy? Yeah. And when you turn your mixer on, be careful that you don't fluff the flour in your face. Go slow. Just like that, your batter is ready. Scrape 
scrape the edges of this bowl and give it a little bit of mix. And if you're gonna be making a loaf, you can put it in your greased pan. Or if you're doing muffins, go ahead and start adding them to your muffin trays. muffins or bread. It, it can take anywhere from 35 minutes to an hour to get your muffins or your bread just right. So go ahead and set your timer for yeah. set your timer for 35 minutes and you can always do the toothpick trick and set it a little longer if you need. And if you're making muffins, you should yield about 12 of them, huh? Monday. Yep, it's time to put them in the oven. Just like that, they're done. Thanks so much for making muffins with us today. We hope you try our recipe, and if you do, we hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on our next video. Bye. Bye, muffins. <laughs>